Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Velvet Lounge Life, and yes, it is a cooking session. So, several people over the years, and even very recently due to us being basically sort of sequestered from each other, um, have asked for my potato salad recipe. So what I did is I prepared a bunch of things in advance. I chopped my veg, the only veg I use out of, I pre-cut veg when I'm doing holiday cooking so that I don't have to keep revisiting it. So this is my veg trough, as I call it. And I have some minced garlic, which I cut up, minced myself, and not too finely minced, but minced enough so that no one hopefully gets a big chunk when they're, they bite into their forkful. I have some onion, and in here I do have a tiny bit of celery. I don't add a lot of celery, but a little bit with the onion adds a little tiny, tiny bit of crunch. Not very much, and the onion should be finely chopped. Everything that you put into this should be finely, finely chopped. So that's all I'm going to use out of my little veg trough, if you will. I have olive oil mayonnaise. You can use regular mayonnaise. You can make your mayonnaise if you want to from eggs, etc. and everything else that people use with whatever oils you prefer. But this is what I like, so that's what we're using. I have my kitchen pepper here. This is my own blend that I create. I have some salt relish, paprika, whatever type of paprika you like, that is what you should use, and mustard. I'm using a spicy golden brown mustard, but you can use regular yellow mustard if you prefer. And of course, one of the stars of the show, the potatoes over here, and I use um, these miniature potatoes because first of all, they're easier for me to deal with. Secondly, I don't know, big, gigantic, overloaded potatoes are just weird. And also, these are organic, so you can use whatever type. And I used red and the yellowish type flesh potato. But you can use a white potato, an Idaho potato, a russet potato, whatever type of potato you prefer. The thing is, when you cook them, you want to make sure that they're fork tender, your fork should be able to slide easily through that potato. If not, you need to cook it longer. Also make sure you rotate the potatoes because the potatoes at the bottom will cook faster than those at the top. And of course, another superstar of the show, the boiled eggs. Use whatever type of eggs you like, brown, white, organic, standard, it doesn't matter, large ones, small ones, medium ones. You just want to make sure you have enough egg to balance off with your potato. Now, for some people, they do equal parts eggs, equal part potato. I actually do a little more egg in a little less potato. Why? Because that's how my family likes it. Also, when it comes to the relish, the um, sweet relish is really what you should be using, or some people might even use a bread and butter type pickle and chop it up into wee little bits. You don't really have to do that because, hello, the store is full of relishes, so you probably will find something that you like. If you want your potato salad on the more bitter side, obviously you would not get a sweet relish, but that's what we like is a sweet relish, so that's what I'm adding to this. So without for, oh, an, another thing, measuring kind of goes out the window. Why? Because once again, I make my potato salad based on what my family likes and, you know, I know, for example, my daughter and I, we don't want a ridiculous amount of crunchiness in it. We want a little bit, but my husband likes it a little bit crunchier, but guess what? We win because it's two to one. 
And also, I know that we enjoy the spicy brown mustard more because it adds a little more of a tang, a little more of a zing. And honestly, this mustard, I know you're looking at it saying, wow, it's spicy. It's really not that spicy. But if you use something like a Grey Coupon or if you created your own mustard by using mustard powder, be very, very, very careful. Oriental mustards are very very powerful and it will take over all the flavor so you do want to use something that is not going to go through and wipe out all the other flavors of your ingredients so let's get going so and when I cut and that's an, another thing you have preferences as to how finely you want your eggs to be cut or your potatoes. Once again, that should be like whatever your family enjoys. If they like it chunkier, cut things up so it's chunkier. If they like it a little finer, don't cut it up too fine because you'll end up with mush. But yes, you can cut the parts, you know, a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to dump my minced garlic in here. And when I minced this, I actually used half of a clove of garlic because I don't want, like everything should dance and marry together. And I don't want the garlic to take over. And I have half of a medium size onion here and I have just half, believe it or not, of a stick of celery. And I use the fine green parts of the celery that are in the center of the celery heart. So not the outer parts because the outer parts are too fibrous. And the veg you see here is what I'm going to stuff my turkey with because that's what I have left over. And you could stir as much as you want, as little as you want. I mean, honestly, by the time you put everything in here, you should do a little bit of stirring after each ingredient just because you want to make sure that everything is distributed evenly. But you don't have to don't over stir it's not necessary and you don't want to end up with mush very very important so next i am going to dump my potatoes in there da -da 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 -da. potatoes so put all of those in there and of course if you feel as if you have too many potatoes take some out it's not a big deal you could take some out and Add more in as you feel you need to. And if you don't need to, then hey, someone can have a side of roasted potatoes because you can add those um, in the oven with a little salt and pepper. And, or you could just serve them as they are as boiled potatoes and have a little extra side dish for someone who's a lover of potatoes. I think that looks pretty good. So next, what I am going to do is add my other ingredients. So for the peppers, I usually add those, I don't know why, I usually add those first. And the paprika, yes, I add a little bit in my potato salad, but I also will use a tiny bit to garnish the top of the potato salad so that, you know, it has a little more color to it than just the color, sort of yellowish, whatever. And then as far as the mustard goes, I add approximately a quarter of a cup for a bowl this size. But once again, if you don't like a lot of mustard, don't add too much. If you want more, I would actually say you know, sort of taste it before you add to, you know, more because a quarter of a cup probably is good for any potato salad that you're making. And next I am going to add my relish. So this jar is 16 ounces. I'm going to add all of this. Why? Because my family actually likes a lot of relish <laughs> in their potato salad. And now is a good time to just give like a light stir, an upper like crust of a stir, not necessarily going all the way down. 
in the bowl. And what this is helping me do is measure how wet this is. You know, do I need to add that additional potato? Do I need to add a couple more eggs? And from what I can see, this is perfect. I've made this so many times, I pretty much know the consistency. And, you know, just give it a light stir. And next, um, add your salt. But remember, um, check your relish and your mustard and other ingredients. Sometimes they do sneak salt in those. So if there's salt in your mayonnaise, salt in your mustard, salt in your relish, add very little salt until you taste the potato salad to see if you need more. So I know that other than the relish, there's very little salt in this. So I'm just going to add, probably, I doubt if this is even, this is less than a quarter of a tablespoon. It's just very little, just a couple of sprinkles. Yes, I did the Rachel Ray thing where I threw the salt over my shoulder. And then I'm going to add some of my own kitchen pepper blend. Ta-da-da. And I do have a video where I discuss what I put in this. And this is something that goes back to the days of when my ancestors were brought to this country and we had our own blends of spices and such. So next is going to be the mayonnaise. So the mayonnaise, I'm going to start out with about a quarter of a cup and adjust if I feel I must. One of the things I absolutely hate is over mayonnaise um, potato salad. It is not good. I don't understand why certain people think that's tasty. It's not. And also potato salads where it's just potato, mayonnaise, and some salt and pepper. That's not potato salad. And my folks, meaning my ancestors, we don't eat that. So if we're ever, you're inviting us to your party or if you're bragging about your potato salad, we will judge it. We might still like or love you, but we will judge you. So from what I can see, I could probably add just a little bit more mayonnaise because I, like I said, I always decide to go lighter on my mayonnaise than heavier on it because I can always add more if I need to. So I will add just a little bit more. I sort of just put that little bit all over the place so I can spread it easier and mix it in easier. And this is almost done. It's that easy. What takes the longest is simply boiling your potatoes and boiling your eggs. And then, of course, peeling and cutting them up, which doesn't take that long, but that's the second longest part. Besides the grocery shopping, because I know someone's going to say, yeah, but when you have to go grocery shopping, that sucks. But this is super simple, but it's really deluxe. Like this within itself could be a meal. And as you saw, I left the peels on my potato. Now, you don't have to do that. I know um, a lot of folks don't keep the peel on the potato. But if you're using an organic potato, I would, you know, think about that. Or keep the peel on maybe some of the potatoes. Maybe you don't keep the peel on all of them because that fiber is really important. And if it's organic, the nutrients from the soil is also really important to your diet. And we're just going to clean up our bowl. I'm actually going to put this in a serving bowl, but just for this picture, <laughs> it still looks better if you clean up your bowl a little bit. And that is it. That is my holiday, everyday potato salad. It is super tasty. It is full, and I'm talking about full of flavor. And as I stated, the cool thing about this is you can adjust this recipe to whatever makes you happy. 
If you want less eggs, put less. Less potatoes, put less. If you want more of anything, obviously put more. But what I will say, as I've said before, is just taste it first because you don't want to go through all of this trouble just to find out that you could have made an adjustment that would have made it tastier and worth the effort. Because like I said, when you peel all of those eggs and when you have to deal with those potatoes, you really just want to be super tasty, really good. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember that your health is your wealth and without your health, you have absolutely nothing. So please take care of yourselves. Subscribe, click the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Is there anything that you would do differently for your potato salad? Do you guys make a potato salad similar to this or something completely different? I would love to hear from you. I love reading your comments. Be well and enjoy your day.